Hey guys, so right out of the gate, this is one of those episodes where if you're an anime only, you're you're probably gonna like this episode fine and and follow it fair and follow it fairly well, at least in that first chunk. Uh, but if you're a manga reader like me, you'll think th th this episode and th th the opening scene of this episode was more than a little messy, if not frustrating, compared to compared to how things were handled in. in it, like two weeks ago and it's again a lot of the frustration with this episode for me is all within that opening scene of the episode which credit where it's due bones did good in avoiding a formal introduction to the the man behind the shadows who was who's talking with hawks but even then i'm debating with myself if they actually made it work because because un, uh, unless bones in, in Unless Bones has the intention of setting up the next arc with, with basically the context of it being a flashback, the events within are not going to line up at all with, 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 what we've, with what we see in, in that opening scene. Even even the scene with Endeavor decoding Hawks' message in this episode just like barely skirts by itself. But okay, if, if, even if you choose to ignore all that, frankly, there are still moments after that after that point where things get complicated because opening scene aside opening scene aside bones to their again to their credit are still streamlining the material fairly effectively however at the same time in doing so that they keep taking out what you could call scenes within scenes that are continuously making me question where where are all these missing pieces are going to go i mean there are some small scenes i think bones could skip skip altogether but they're just as many that they, 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 they can't and it just begs the question how this ultimately go, is going to work are these are these scenes going to be reorganized into the next arc or are there gaps in season six they can fill in with these scenes because if i'm remembering correctly there are certain gaps where, where you could place these we could place the, the, these basically scenes taking place in endeavor agency arc but and you can make it fit i'm just trying to figure out in my head how bones is going to play this and what and what makes it even more kind of just out there, and I guess I guess what makes it even more frustrating in some way is is that pretty much is, is that next week's episode is like is basically a is going to be a filler. Like yeah yeah, next week's episode is basically a filler. Like I I don't understand why they have a filler like that, but okay sure whatever. But yeah, it's like can. can in, in the current state, I'm questioning, can, can pretty much Bones even, even afford it in order to have a filler episode right now? But, yeah, I, again, we'll just have to wait and see, I think. Now, having said that, Endeavor pretty much gets to training our main trio. And, yeah, th there's a lot to talk about just within those three individual conversations. First, we see Bakuko basically outright admitting that, yeah, even though he's got... He's gotten strong. He's got a strong quirk, and he's gotten stronger himself. He still needs to figure out what it is he's missing, or what next step he needs to take in order to truly work towards being number one. Which, again, great development on Bakugo's part because it shows that he's moving beyond the basic premise of trying to get stronger and believing strength is the only way to, in order to become number one, and instead looking at what's the next goalpost for him to overcome. And I love how when when, when you when when they got onto the in the, when they got on into the streets, Endeavor knew instinctively what lesson Bakugo needed to learn, which is how 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 a quirk which quirk how quirks like theirs, which would normally be considered destructive, can use to actually save people. And for Bakugo, it's learning that any any quirk is any quirk is quirk is capable of saving people as long as you know as long as you as long as you have the situational awareness to 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 understand situational awareness to understand how to use your quirk and how the quirk itself can functionally be used in that way and yeah obviously we have to talk about Shoto's little declaration to Endeavor because it's really a scene that ultimately serves two functions the first the first previously showing that, that that showing that whatever bad blood there was and still remains between father and son it it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything anymore shoto has up to this point has come into his own has become his own hero completely independent of everything his father represents and even though ironic ironic in the in an ironic sense like shoto is still choosing to is still choosing the path endeavor wanted for him 
he's doing it on his own terms, on his, uh, uh, with, with Prunch is, is basically own for his own reasons. It, it has, at this point, Endeavor has basically nothing to do with, with basically any, any goal or anything he, he intends to accomplish as a hero. Uh, the second thing is, it, the second moment, the second thing is this moment does, the second thing that this moment does is it's the ultimate realization for Endeavor that there is no fixing the past or even a, even atoning for his sins, frankly. The, the only thing, like, Endeavor has caused so much pain that there is absolutely nothing he can really do in order to fix every anything that he's done in the past. The only thing left for him is to continue moving forward and just hope he finds, like, like some manner of redemption at, at, at the end of this journey, like, I, I again, I, I need to say it again, because I, I know there's, there are people who I think still believe that this series is condoning Endeavor's behavior and actions. There is no changing the past for Endeavor. It's set in, it's set in stone. The only thing, the only thing Endeavor can do is change his present and his future. When, it, that that's really all. All that's really the, the, the only way that the, 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 that's the, 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 the endeavor can can even hope to change things between him and his family. Is hope that that, that he can that 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 that, 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 that it's possible to change what he's done in the past. But hopefully that he can he can do he can do right by them and and make sure they have a better future kind of thing. Um, what, now when we get to Izuku, even though it was hilarious to see him babbling and endeavor. And Endeavor understanding every word he said, despite that, uh, I, I like how Endeavor like still knew, he still kind of understood immediately, and what Izuku was lacking. Which, yeah, the explanation itself was a little front loaded, but basically, basically what Izuku needs to work on is utilizing, it is utilizing the two aspects of one for all at the same time, the base power itself, and the powers like the, that are stored within inside the quirk because. In, in a lot of ways, both like both aspects of one for all like complement each other, and if if he can find a way in order to in order to utilize both at one time, then he he he, he really will have fully he really will have like fully mastered this quirk. Also, keep what Endeavor said about Izuku being one of them in the back of your mind for later, because it's a detail that's building upon a reveal we already know is coming, but it'll make the tragedy of the reveal all the more insane. Um. And, and, and just the backstory behind it as well. Now, with that said, one thing I do love about this episode is just from deciphering Hawks' message, how quickly after Endeavor clued into the Hero Commission's true intentions and how to act upon it, which I'm not going to say it's one of those things that proves how intelligent he is, because it's something we've known about Endeavor for a long time, but it does show that, that he recognized that there is a massive level threat on the horizon, and this one one that's too large for the commission to handle or, or any hero alone where and where we and in that sense it shows it shows that he where we see him we see that he's also kind of breaking free however we see that he's also kind of breaking free however is on their however is on their own views on involving the UA students although he begrudgingly chooses to train them for that purpose. This, 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 like, differing opinion is, like, the first real sign towards Endeavor and Hawks, like, breaking free of the commission, because they're, because with them, they're choosing to put faith in, they're choosing, they're choosing to not put faith in them, but in the potential heroes, the next generation, which, yeah, this growing distance from the commission is its own sign of what's to come, and, and Endeavor is, like, is, like, well, the Endeavor, like Hawks, is growing, like, is growing independent from basically what the commission wants to do. Also, side note, I was I was I was I was surprised to see the see the uh, class one A class one B montage in this episode, because while it is something that, that is an ambiguous scene and can fit anywhere, I kind of have expected them to save that scene for the final episode of the season. But hey, it 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 still works where it does. But yeah, uh, but um. But yeah, guys, and yeah, and honestly, guys, I think I think one of the big takeaways from this episode for me is that th this this first really showed like, like, like Endeavor's capabilities as a teacher. Like, it, 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 like, just, like despite whatever negative connotation sh like Shoto has with, like Shoto has with his father's teachings, it really does show that Endeavor is a very capable teacher, even if he isn't, 
even if he, he isn't he is a little like a a little socially stunted I guess you could say but yeah uh, but yeah guys that's all I got for this review if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe I'm on Twitter and Mr. Control be sure to hit the notification bell hit the subscribe button and just share it around guys Dead Night Vinny signing off later